Hey guys, I'll be talking about what laptop is suitable for whatever you're using. So anything I say in this video is unbiased and it's for your knowledge to know which laptop would be the best for you. Both operating systems have their own pros and cons, but are completely different from each other. First, let's talk about the pros and cons of a Chromebook, what it's used for, who it's meant for, and if it's suitable for educational usage. First things first, Chromebooks are way cheaper and more affordable. This is because the specs don't need that much power to run their operating system and can run everything smoothly. It's also smaller than other laptops you would typically use or see. Another thing is that the laptop turns on almost instantly and shows the login page in a matter of seconds. Now if you're someone who needs a laptop that can run for the whole day, Chromebooks are perfect. The laptop's battery life is usually 9-11 to 11 hours. If you're also someone who fears getting viruses, this wouldn't be the case when you have a Chrome operating system device. That means you wouldn't need to worry about harmful files as the operating system will take care of it for you. Now the cons might not want you to buy a Chromebook as you can't download any external applications outside of the Chrome Web Store and Google Play Store. If you're someone who loves to play games, the only options you have are GeForce Now and Play Store. If you're also someone who needs storage, Chromebooks aren't that suitable. Chromebooks are also useless once you're on offline mode since doing any type of work like Google Docs has to be saved to your drive, meaning there's no access. To also access the Chromebook itself, you need a Google account, otherwise you can't use it. If you're doing any type of web work, this is an amazing and affordable laptop. If you're someone who's a video editor, this laptop isn't for you, as most softwares that are good is external and needs a good graphics card. However, if you're someone who's looking for a laptop for educational purposes, this would be an amazing choice as you can browse the web and save files to your Google Drive which you can access at home or at school. Now let's talk about Windows laptops. If you're looking for a laptop that can be used for your own personal reasons like Netflix, content creation, or gaming, Windows would be a perfect choice. Before I get into the pros and cons, this is for only Windows 10 and 11. If you're still using something below Windows 10, I'd recommend upgrading it. If you guys need help with that, let me know in the comment section and I'll give you guys a tutorial. Now let's talk about the pros of a Windows laptop. Windows has a large range of applications. Windows also has more performance so you can get the best out of whatever you're using. If you're someone who loves to play games, Windows would be perfect as there are many games you can choose from and aren't limited compared to Chromebooks. Windows laptops also have more hardware support. Now let's look at the cons. To run Windows properly, you'll need stronger components for the operating system to run well. Windows also faces a lot of poor security. To add on, there's a higher chance of getting a malicious file or software that might get through unless you have a third party software that can block it. Lastly, Windows uses higher performance so you won't get much out of the battery life. When I was using a Windows laptop, I found out how quickly the battery can drain even on low brightness. Now if you're someone who goes to school and needs their laptop for more than 3-5 to five hours, this wouldn't be the perfect option. Another reason is that most Windows laptops are bulky and heavy so that can also be a problem for traveling use. I'd recommend people who might be having high end duties to use this as I already mentioned before. Now should you use a Chromebook or Windows laptop? If you're looking for a budget friendly laptop or for educational use and a longer battery use, Chromebooks are perfect, but if you're someone who needs it for high-end software, multimedia production, and gaming, I'd recommend getting a Windows laptop. Now keep in mind that there may be cheaper alternatives for a Windows laptop that may also be cheaper than a Chromebook, but the thing is that it wouldn't run perfectly and it will have issues sooner or later. If you guys have any issues, let me know in the comment section and I can try to resolve them or if you have any further questions about which laptop to choose. I hope this video helped and make sure to like and subscribe.